So now in this video, we are talking about what's going to happen to this game after DLC pack three comes out. This is the last DLC pack for this game. And after that, we don't know what's next. We don't know if Koei, what's it called? Koei Tecmo? Koei Tecmo is gonna support the game still. We don't know if they're gonna let this game die or whatever. Do you guys think this game is A, going to die, B, going to get support after DLC pack three ends, like, you know, get a season pass two and all that stuff. Let me know what you guys think. I think, I am think I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go with, this game is like a part of my channel. I wanna keep it a buck with you guys. I think this game is going to probably just die. They just don't wanna add anything. Like, they genuinely don't wanna add anything. I don't know what it is. Like, the only thing they give us is characters. Like, they literally just say, they literally just give us characters and have fun. We play them for like a day or two, and then after that, we're bored again. Because it's just the same things over and over. You give us the characters, we play them on the same missions we've done like thousands of times, and then we just get bored of the characters because, you know, there's no new maps, there's no new side missions, or nothing like that. And it makes the players, like, you know, quit the game. It really just does. I knew this game wasn't going to live for so long because, you know, this game is not like a fighting game. This game is not like fighters, like Dragon Ball Z fighters. This game is not like Jump Force. One Piece is a Musou type of game. Musou type of games are really not meant to live for so long. So, yeah. It's not like those type of games. Those type of games get good support. Even though some of us don't like those games, those games are doing really good and they're bringing in money to the company. So the company, so the company is going to keep on supporting it and providing more content for those type of games because they're bringing in the money for them. Also, just to clarify, I'm not saying that One Piece Power Warriors 4 is trash. No, I'm just saying if it had more content, if it, and if it had a good online, it would have been a good game. This game is just a rinse and repeat of doing the same thing. I still love this game. I still play it till this day. Obviously, all of us knew that One Piece Power Wars 4 wasn't going to live as long as those games do because it's not a fighting game. But personally, I thought One Piece was going to live for like a good two years. Like, like I don't understand. Like, I never, like, I don't understand why they don't want to add maps. I don't understand why they don't want to give us new missions. Like, I'm pretty sure if they were to add costumes, I mean, outfits, more DLC characters, plus maps, if we, if we had to pay for all of that goodness everyone will pay definitely so this is something i should have mentioned in the beginning of the video i never played any other games from koei tecmo so i don't know if there are if they're like this with all their games or are they only like this with pirate warriors because i never really played their other games besides pirate warriors like seeing another one piece game die because for me my favorite one piece game died and I think it's never going to come back a lot. My favorite One Piece game was One Piece World Seekers. That was the first game I played on my channel. That was the game I grew with my channel. That was my favorite game. One Piece World Seekers was the game I always wanted. An open world One Piece game and I got it. But unfortunately it died. Even though that game had potential, it just, it just died. They just let it die. Just like how they're going to do with Power Warriors 4, it's going to die. Even though that game also has good potential for other characters and stuff like that. They're going to let the game die. I don't understand what it is with you know these you know these developers and letting like and letting like good game like letting good games die. Jump Festa's around the corner, bro. I hope during Jump Festa we get something about One Piece, cause we need something. I just hope during Jump Festa there's like a new One Piece game reel or something, cause we need it. We need a new One Piece game, man. Jump Festa. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. Jump Festa is our last hope for this game. I think so for Power Warriors 4. Also, for those of you who think I'm like you know talking bad about the game i'm not talking bad about the game because i know I, I know i will have people that will tell me that i'm talking i'm not talking bad about the game i just want to see this game succeed bro i want to see this game succeed i want to see a game that has a long term of receiving content and stuff i want to see a, i just want to see a one piece game succeed for years just like how one just how xenoverse 2 did fighters is doing currently and shinobi strikers and jump force I want to see a One Piece game up there. I want to see a One Piece game getting all that support too. That's all I want. <sighs> but yeah. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace and enjoy the rest of your day. And I hope some, t I hope that, you know, I just hope after, after DLC pack three comes out, we get some sort of news saying they're going to keep on supporting the game. If we get like a new, if we get a season pass two or something, I hope bro. Cause we need it. <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace and enjoy the rest of your day.